fashion students this video i will be discussing what a mind map is and how important it is in your designing process so let's start mind map is the very first and the most important step in your designing process it is done by brainstorming where you put pressure on your mind to get ideas now how does this mind map actually help us let's take an example here if a person wants to reach a particular destination which is new for him he definitely requires a map or instructions to reach there what if the person does not have those instructions and map he gets confused waste their time and energy ultimately might not reach the destination and give up and if that person has a map for destination it gets easy for him saves time and energy and the person actually knows what to expect which turn to take etc same way in designing process a mind map helps you to reach your ultimate goal that is your design your collection it makes the path clear makes your vision strong no confusion you get practical ideas and the best part it saves your time and energy let's have a look on how to make a mind map you will be needing a paper it could be of any size write your ideas using color pencils markers or pens make it as colorful as possible so your ideas stand out write your inspiration on the center of page now inspiration can be anything an object or a feeling tangible intangible anything let's take an example over here for my collection i want ocean as the main thing now i'm going to add keywords asking myself why ocean what is the feelings of factors attached with this ocean so write down the words that are coming in your mind for me it's peace then waves i find it mysterious don't forget the beauty of nature i want to make a collection for spring and summer there's an easy flow with ocean no restriction once i feel i am done with my main ideas i will further explore the keyword example peace for me peace is calmness the gushing sound of water no chaos no traffic no rush to anything when i wrote no rush i got an idea how the texture of my fabrics should be or the prints it should not have any loud prints softness in the fabrics should be the key essence here i wanted to describe the words flow in terms of fabrics like chiffon satin satin has a beautiful reflection same as water maybe i can have layering to me the flow of water has layers maybe two different colors with the words piece and its subcategories i want to define it in terms of colors like pale lilac pink light spectrum green baby blue pale green sky blue now let's see waves they are of different shapes and sizes they curl then they bounce we can see the way waves fold on each other and from this i'm actually getting ideas for the silhouettes like cascades can be added to the necklines ruffles maybe at the hemline and we can add cowls on the sleeves maybe circular skirts as they have folds and bounds in them and this way we keep on doing brainstorming adding ideas to it with mystery and its subcategories i came up with ideas for trims buttons the colors what colors and design for bead embroidery and so on with wave structure i got more ideas we can add intricate detail laces to it with having to design for spring and summer collection i can play with the lengths of the silhouette here 
For color palette, I am taking direct inspiration from the ocean. Thinking about the sunset or sunrise, the way it reflects on the water and we can add grading effects to it. So I'm just working with few colors here like baby blue with green grass, pastel pinks with blue, deep violets with pale yellow and so on. Beauty of the ocean has again two aspects. One is on the surface while there is a different world inside the ocean like a plant life, fishes etc. When I actually wrote the word ocean, I never thought I would be thinking about bead embroidery or cowl sleeves. That's the best thing about mind map. It makes you think outside the box. It develops ideas and make you think about your inspiration from various angles. Hope it was easy to follow. Let us know if there is any doubts. Leave a comment or by emailing us. The email is provided in the description box. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our videos. Until the next time, happy designing.